Hello Geeks and Gamers, Matt Lemke here with your Gamer Goggles and today we're going to take a look at Linko. Linko is this uh, really kind of neat little card game that uh, when I first picked it up I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, it's for uh, 2 to 5 players ages 10 to 99 so really it's a card game that can be played by just about anyone. It, uh, I'm going to call it a game of cat and mouse, uh, links, you know. Um, anyway, back to the game. Uh, it's a game of cat and mouse maybe try and outwit slash bluff your opponent a little bit, counting cards, um, and I'll even say kind of stealing. But we'll get into more of that in just a minute and when we get into the game mechanics. Uh, so I'll be Linko right. gets set up like this. I've already done a box breaking, but I'm going to go ahead and give you a real quick overview of the game contents. There's 110 cards in the game. Um, several of the cards are numbered 1 to 13, and there's a set of 8 of each of those uh, numbers. There is one Linko card. There are five wild cards. The Linko card designates whose turn it is. So if this player is first, um, which is always the youngest player, if this player is first, uh, they would get the Linko card and at the end of the turn they would pass it to the next person in progression. Um, now the goal of Linko is to play as many cards from your hand as possible. Uh, generally the first person out of cards uh, tends to be the winner. That's not always the case, but that is the way it tends to work out. So they've played eight cards. Now, um, at the start of the game, you're dealt 13 cards, so this player is already down to 10. This player, however, does have um, three 11s, which meets the uh, eight. It's greater than, and the number of cards is greater. So he's going to do something called a steal. So he's going to steal these three cards. They go over onto that player's stack, and then this player has, a ch has to draw back up the number of cards that they lost, which in this case is three cards. Uh, you can do that in a number of different ways, and he's got three twos, uh, one, 11, 10, and 12, so he's actually going to take a 10, place another card there, take an 11, place a card there, and then take a 12, which is a 6. Um, and it's this player's turn, so this player's going to actually go ahead and shoot to play three sixes. Um, and play goes back and forth like that. They played three sixes, so now it comes back over here. And, well, this player has the ability to play three fours, two sevens, a nine, an eight, a one. Um, so this player's going to go ahead and play the three fours. Now the number isn't greater than or um, there isn't a, a greater number of cards so the player has to actually uh, doesn't get to snatch. So now play would pass to this player. This player is going to go for the best they can possibly can and play three twos. This player is now down to six cards. This player is going to go ahead and play two thirteens and oh by the way um, don't make the mistake I made. This player should have taken the wild card because the wild card trumps all. Um, uh, so that player's going to play two 13s. 13, while 13 is greater than 2, it doesn't beat the number of cards that were played, so no snatch can be made there as well. Um, so this player has uh, an 11 and a 10. Two 11s, it's not greater than the 13. So play would pass back here. Uh, this player now has two sevens he's going to try and push out. And this player has uh, decided to go a little bit tactical and going to go ahead and drop the three. Uh, you might not realize that that is a good or a bad thing. This player is down to a one, a nine, and an eight. Going to go ahead with the nine. Um... It is not greater in number than the cards, so no snatch can be made. Uh, this player is going to go ahead and go with the 12, which is greater than the 9, so he can snatch it, which is good for this player. This player now has to draw or take a card. It's going to take the wild um, and replace it with a 2. And it's this player's turn again. This player will then... play... An 8, not greater than, no snatch. This player will then play a 1, which might not be the best tactical move, but uh, 
the uh, this player will go ahead and play the wild and the one, snatching the one, and then this player is down two cards. So you'll just effectively for for scoring you'll remove two cards, and you'll go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Player truly beat this player. So now that is the basics of the game. Um, we're gonna cut here and we're gonna go back so and I'll sit down go. face to face. Um, I'm gonna start off by saying, uh, in all honesty, a uh, the two-player demo that I did does not really give you the greatest um, feel for the game. Because in my opinion, the game doesn't really start to come to life until you have more than two players. It, it's, it's fine. It's fun to play with two players. Um, but when you start getting into things like dropping three cards and then you go to snatch cards and you go to your left and you can snatch those and you go to your... Um, you go to the next player and you can snatch those cards and you come all the way back around the table, that's when the game starts to get lively and people's gears in their head really start to turn and think. Uh, you know, it's it's a simple game. It's easy to play. It's fun. I can see a tremendous amount of replayability. It's uh, not going to be a game for everyone. It's 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 light. It's uh, what I would call a, a, super, a super gateway game. And... Because it's light, you're gonna you're gonna have other people, um, and when I say other people, there's probably hardcore reviewers out there that are gonna look at this kind of a game and they're gonna be like, it's awful. So I'm gonna tell you to take everything, including what I just said, with a grain of salt, because it, it is a basic game. It's geared for everyone. Uh, it's a great educational game in the sense that it teaches children how to think um, critically and and to count and not like when I say count, I mean count cards. So you can start, you know, uh, a 10 year old I think can understand and grasp the concept of, oh, I know there's, there's eight of these and I see four on the table. So if I play it now, it's safe and somebody's going to have to snatch it um, because they're going to beat it. You know, it, it, it's things like that that make this game a, a, a game that isn't overcomplicated but still has enough strategies and tactics within it to make it fun and replayable. So I hope that uh, what I have said here actually helps you out a little bit with the Origins Awards because, again, Linko is one of the games that is up uh, nominated for an Origins Award. Um, so uh, I hope to see you next week at Origins. Well, actually, by the time this is up, it'll probably be this week. So anyway, I hope to see you in a day or two. Thanks for watching and have a good day.